Hey there. Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. My name is Matt Kanata, aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore. Walk by faith and not by sight. So, this is part three of the topic of crafts. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the objectives. So, for this particular tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to find the gradient of a graph. Okay? Now that we are done with the objectives, let's take a look at the lesson. So, get your pens and your notebooks ready. Okay, so here we have AB is a line drawn on the grid. Find the gradient of AB. So where is AB? AB is this line. Okay, now when we are talking about the gradient, what are we talking about? Since this line AB is a straight line, let's quickly look at this equation for the straight line, which is y equals to mx plus c. Now each time you hear the word gradient, this simply means the m in this equation. Okay, now how do we calculate that m? m is basically equals to the change in y divided by the change in x. Or in other words, we can use this formula, which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now if you don't understand what's going on here or how to use this formula, don't worry. We will get into examples that will enlighten your understanding. Okay. So, how do we use this formula? Number one, on the line AB, we need to draw a triangle, which is a right angle, a triangle with a 90 degree. Okay? Now, you can draw this triangle anywhere as long as it's connected to this line. So, let's just draw our triangle. Good. Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be a big triangle like mine, but as long as you know that where you connect your triangle, these are points that you can see, okay? Say, for example, our points here on the y-axis, I can see it's a 3, you know? You don't want to choose a point, for example, like this point, which you are not sure. Hmm? Always choose, when you're drawing your triangle, choose points that you can see. Okay, now, how do we use this formula? First, you need to label, okay? You need to label the y to y1, x2, and uh, x1. So how do you do this? Now on our triangle here, our highest point is here. So that's where we put on the y-axis, our highest point, we put the y2. And then again on the y-axis, the lowest point is where you put your y1. Okay? And then now using this formula, we know that on top it's y2 minus y1. So now you check if the highest point here is y2. What is that point? So you check on the y-axis, that point is positive 3. Okay, so you write down positive 3 according to the formula minus y1. So you check what is y1. y1 is this point. So on the y-axis, that point is a 0. So you say minus 0. Okay, divided by. Now you label x2 and then you label the x1. So now you check where do you label the x2 and the x1. Now a lot of people get confused here. So here is the trick. You want to check which side is your 90 degree. Your 90 degree is this side. Okay. Now that side where you have the 90 degree is where you put x2. And then the other side is where you put x1. Okay, now you check on the x-axis, what is your x2? Your x2 here is a positive 4. So x2 is positive 4 minus x1. So what is your x1 on the x-axis? x1 is here, which is negative 2. So you subtract negative 2. So remember here, because... We have a minus sign and it's a negative 2. We put it into brackets. Okay? So what answer will you get? You can use your calculator for this. So you'll get 1 over 2 as your final answer. Okay? 
Now, just for explanatory purposes, let me draw another triangle. Okay? And see if we will get the same answer, which is 1 over 2, using the same formula. Now, here we drew like a huge triangle. Let's try making the triangle smaller using the same line. So let's just quickly erase this. Okay, so let's bring in a smaller triangle. I think we can use this points. Then we take out the huger one. Good. Now remember what I said. What do you do? You label your y2, y1, x2, and x1. So where is our y2? Our y2 is always the highest point of our triangle. So it will be there. And then our y1 is always the lowest point of our triangle. I'm talking about on the y-axis now. So it will be here. Now with that said, what is our y2? Our y2 over here on the y-axis is positive 2. So we write down that positive 2 minus y1. So let's see y1 is over here and that is a positive 1. So we say minus positive 1 divided by, now we label our x2 and our x1. So how do you know which side is the x2 and which side is the x1? You always check where is your 90 degree. So your 90 degree is over here, meaning that side will be your x2. Then the other side will be your x1. Okay? So what is your x2? x2 is positive 2. So you write down that positive 2. And then you subtract. What is your x1? x1 is on the x-axis. is 0. So you write down the 0. Now if you work this out on your calculator, or you don't necessarily even need a calculator because you know that 2 minus 1 will be 1 and then 2 minus 0 will be 2. So you get the exact same answer. So this simply means that if you draw your right angle or your triangle anywhere on this line, you'll always get the same answer for the gradient, okay? Because now if you look at these two examples that we just did, the first one we did with a bigger triangle, and then the second one we did with a smaller triangle. But we got the same answer. Just make sure that your triangle, you place it at points that you can see and that you are sure of. Don't make uh, this triangle, don't put it at points that will cause you to approximate okay we don't know we don't want approximations or you know answers that you will be unsure of okay cool so before we look at this final example how are you finding this video so far is it helpful if yes please do give us a huge thumbs up and subscribe to our channel okay and if you want some one-on-one -on -one tutorials do not hesitate to WhatsApp us on our WhatsApp number. Back to the lesson. Now here we have calculate the gradient of the line on the grid. Now we have this line on the grid. So how do we calculate the gradient? We use the same method or the same equations that we used in the previous examples. But the first thing is always to draw your triangle on this line. Okay? So let's draw a triangle. Remember what I told you, you don't want to draw your triangle somewhere, like for example, this one where the line ends. We are not sure about that point. So we can't draw our, uh, our triangle there because it will cause us to have some funny answers which we will not be sure of. So we will rather choose a point where we can see that, okay, this point on the y-axis is a positive 2 while on the x-axis is a negative 2, okay? The same with the other point, we can see the points. So, after drawing in our triangle, we label y2 and y1. So, our highest point on the y-axis is always our y2, and the lowest point here is our y1. So, what is our y2? y2 is positive 2. So we write down positive 2 minus y1. So what is our y1? 
y1 equals to negative 2. So we will say minus negative 2 divided by x2 minus x1. So now we label the x2. Now here again, how do you know which side is the x2 and the x1? Ask yourself, where is the 90 degree? So the 90 degree is this side. So where you see 90 degree is where you put x2. Okay. Then the other side will be x1. So the x2 on the x-axis is negative 2. So write down the negative 2 minus x1. x1 that will be on the x-axis, it will be a 0. Okay? So if you work this out on your calculator, you will get negative 2 as your final answer. Okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, turn on the notification button not to be the last to see the next upload. Share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers.